Hi, my name is Bill Gigliotti. I'm one of the Lockheed Martin test pilots. I'm here in Fort Worth with you in one of the run stations we use to prep the jets, and one of which you see behind me, as we get ready to do our production acceptance flight. I was a uh, Navy fighter pilot for 14 years on active duty, and then I spent six years, seven years in the reserves helping that staff, but I've been a test pilot um, here at Lockheed Martin since 2003, primarily focused on the F-35 program. I've one of the initial cadre of test pilots, so I've been on the program since that time. I've seen the program go through a lot of changes. We made a lot of decisions uh, and a lot of good decisions, and we didn't make those in a vacuum. We made those with, with Lockheed. We made those with the government, both the U.S. and all our services, plus our partner countries. So everyone had a say in what this product is going to end up being. The, the aircraft you see before you is equipped like every other F-35 we build. It has an advanced AESA radar, the best in the world. It has an electro-optical targeting system, which you can see is the glass-plated chin pod below, but kind of surrounded by all the flags. The flags are attached to our air data probes. So the, the radar array is in the nose cone. The EOTS, we call the EOTS electro-optical targeting system, is in that chin pod. Um, just up and to the left of that, you'll see a flat panel that, uh, just behind those flags. That's part of what we call our DAS sensors, our distributed aperture uh, sensors, system sensors. And those are uh, IR sensors that are used for missile approach warning. But we also take the technology and we digitize the display and, dis and, and um, port that into the helmet so the pilot sees that IR image through his visor. That allows the pilot to actually see through the aircraft since those sensors are external and piped into the cockpit, the pilot sees the outside world, hence he can see through the cockpit. Every part of the aircraft is basically a flying sensor, so we use the aircraft, we call it a sensor wing. The uh, leading edges have embedded sensors into to those we use for our benefit, and the aircraft has the, the weapon bay doors open to show the massive weapon bay doors, uh, weapon bays themselves that house both uh, air-to-air -air and air-to-surface weapons. Every aircraft we build will come configured uh, with the full ship set. We don't have to add pods on later to the aircraft for training purpose for, for pilots. They, they fly the aircraft the first day they fly it in what we would refer to as a combat configuration. There is no training configuration of the aircraft. The difference is weapons and not, uh, not having weapons. That's it.